יופי. אוקיי, אני רוצה לעשות סלפי-פנס טרנינג בדוג'ו, ואני צריך כמה טולים, אז אחד מהטולים שאתם יכולים לעשות זה קלאב. So I wanted to buy uh, the original club from the store when they sell it and I found out that it costs eighty dollars so I guess it's not a reasonable number and if you need five six clubs six clubs you double it by eighty dollars you get it four hundred dollars so I didn't want to buy them they said that it's too expensive for me maybe if I'll decide later it's good enough for me and I can use it I would use it but then I decided to make my own so I This is what I did. This is one example of a club. See, it's padded. Another example, of course, my hands are stiff, but can't. See, these are clubs for self-defense. You can do self-defense training with them. So what are the build of and how much does it cost? I think uh, the total cost for something like this, I, I say maximum is $4. Maximum. And I think you can do it in $2. You can, if you make a lot, it's about $2 a piece if you do it yourself. So how do you do it? How do you do these clubs? You'll be needing a broom, a broomstick club. So I think you can find these in Israel in two, three dollars per one, but if you walk around the street, you'll find many people throw these. So I didn't buy none of them. I just found them on the street and cut them the size I wanted. Okay. And that's it. And what I, what I had to buy and I I had to buy them. I had to buy, uh, this is a pipe. This, uh, this is a pipe that covers uh, air-conditioned pipes. So it's spongy, as you can see. It's spongy. Okay, so I bought this. It's about one dollar a meter. And they make you buy 20 meters. So I bought 20 meters. Okay, so if you, if you make all, all the amount, then you might give it to another dojo or to a friend and make other clubs. Uh, another thing I want to tell you, so I used, I used actually a stick. There's a stick, I put, I put this on, usually I put some contact glue before I pushed it, put the contact glue, put it where I wanted, added extra padding at the end, I took a, a special Israeli, Israeli brand or masking tape or tape and I taped it with a strong tape till the end of the handle, we used it, actually we broke too, we were working aggressively with helmets And we broke two, and it's okay because it's two dollars a piece, four dollars a piece, and we broke two uh, using our six clubs we made. So uh, if you want to see the video how it's really made, I'm gonna fast forward it and maybe some more explanations. Uh, at the end of the video, you're gonna see us using it in self-defense training. Hope you enjoy yourself. I, I hope I'll save you money and I'll hope I help your dojo uh, build tools or if, even if you train at home alone, you can build your own tools. Hope I helped you, hope you be successful in your training and do what you need to be better, to be a better trainer and to improve yourself. Thank you very much. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it the size I think I need. So I'm only going to need a small handle and the other part is going to be a, a really padded good. So a small hand handle and a padded part. Now I cut the stick, I have it the size I want. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use glue and glue. the insulation material on the wood. It's a sponge-like material. I'm going to put some glue here. A 
what I suggest is not to use uh, super glue or glue that when they dry up get really uh, stiff because this is going to create chunks like stones which when uh, the sponge or the insulation material will compress that will actually uh, make a problem because you're going to have like little stones but this glue is elastic like contact glue this is called bison glue uh, glues that are elastic are good glues, glues that become uh, really stiff uh, when they dry are not good so don't use glues that become stiff when they dry I'm going to let it dry a bit now I already put the insulation material on the wood, on the club and you can see how it looks you can even make it a little bit shorter but I think for me that is okay uh, I'm going to let it dry a bit and then I'm going to use the tape to put tape all around it so I let it dry a bit and then now I'm going to use the tape to close it so the first important parts are to close the upper part you need padding for the other upper part so this pipe came closed so it's okay this pipe came with a sponge also in the, the upper side okay with the, the the same material, the same spongy material in the upper side. So what I'll do, I'll close it. Also, al although it's already glued, I'll close it because under pressure the other glue might just fall off. So I'm closing it this way. Okay, I'm closing it. Club. Uh, looks resilient, you can hit it in your head, it doesn't, it wouldn't even leave a mark, see? So now you can train with it and not be worried about what will happen to your partner, although I do suggest training carefully. So this is the club, it's all padded, this is easier to hold with your hand and you can hit, no problems. Okay. If you want to know the size and, or the length of it, I'm going to measure it and tell you in centimeters. Okay, so you have to divide it into it's 64 centimeters, 65 centimeters, somewhere in between 64 and 65. If you want to know how much is it in inch, you just divide it in 2.54. So. That's it. That's the padded club. I hope you build one for yourself and you can use it for self-defense training. Good luck.